Hi guys, how are we doing? <clears throat> wow, that came out crunchy. Let's try that again. Hi guys, how are we doing? Um, so we're going to come in today and we're going to get some, just the little details. Um, I'm not going to go super duper bonkers. Um, mostly it is a little bit late in the day. Um, I am kind of starting to get over a, a headache that really wanted to go migraine. So that was fun. Um, so we're going to start with her knitting uh, and I did decide to go ahead and go back with red with it, but I did mix just a little bit of my color shift red into the paint. So it might have just a little added shimmer and just a little touch of fun to it. These guys are so cute and so mellow. I think a little drama color-wise is not a bad idea. Now I am in a little bit of a battle with the light. So I'm not probably going to be able to go nearly as long today. But we can at least get this part done, I think. There we go. There we go. I just had to pull her up for a second here so I can kind of see what we're doing. There we go. So I'm a little bit bummed. I did lose my giant algae eater today. Uh, I'm not sure if he picked up my garamis or if he got hung up in a piece of decor or what. But he was fine this morning and then I just found him floating right before I came in here. Which is, it's sad. I love all my pets, even my fish, but it does happen, especially with fish tanks, and we've had multiple, multiple hour to two hour uh, power outages of late, which if you keep aquariums, you know how much of a challenge it is to keep your tank balance correct when the power keeps going out. So... It's a little sad, but thankfully he was more maintenance crew than anything, so I can go a couple of days before I pick up a new one. It's actually funny how tiny they start out compared to how big they do grow. Trying to stay off of her fingers as much as we can here. I can see I got a little paint on her fingers already. Somehow or another I've managed not to do too much on mine yet.
And I just realized I painted over her knitting hooks, so I think we'll go back in and cover them with a metallic, I think. That's more accurate. I do apologize if I'm not getting the best angle here. We're just getting this part under here, trying to make it complete. It's not an easy section to do, that's for sure. But you can see now, as I've painted it in, you can actually see where her knitting needles are. I had overlooked those. So we're coming along. Boy, that adds quite the pop, doesn't it? And I think, since we are running quite a bit faster than I thought we were, we'll go ahead and change the tone of this paint just a little tiny bit here. Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Aha. We just want to come down out of the bright red stratosphere there. And go a more booky color but still nice and red. Um, we're gonna come in, knock a little paint off my brush because that was excessive. So what do you guys think they're reading, huh? I'm an avid reader, so there's always a dozen different book titles that could pop into my head. But I'm curious to see what you guys think. What do you think our cute little couple is reading here? Coming along. These details wouldn't be quite so hard, but they're at such an odd little angle. But at the same time, we still want it to look nice. You know? But I like that it's not perfectly the same red anymore. I think since we do have just a little bit more time, I am going to do something a little bit different. And then we'll come in and do her, her uh, knitting needles last. I am... Not 100% sold that this is going to be the final option on these, but I feel like it's maybe the most realistic way to go about it. 
And that is we're just going to paint the lenses that silver. If I was a stronger artist than I am, I would go in and try and like paint their eyes on one side and what they're looking at on the other. But I'm decent. I am not that good. And there's that. I enjoy my artwork very, very much, but I know there are so, so much more talented people out there. So we're starting to get just some of the little details worked in. And I think... this Mars orange for his glasses. And basically all we're doing here is just giving him frames. As I start kicking things here, there we go. That's a little better. Sorry about that very hard to guess when I'm not looking through the camera lens what you guys are seeing. And this is one of those details that not too many people are going to see. Oops. This is why we're doing their faces last. Because little oopses happen. And as I said, that's a detail not too many people will see. But I'll know it's there. So... for her. Just adding a little bit of that red mixture to hers. Just to give her a little bit different. Maybe they liked the same basic style, but just wanted a little bit different in colors. I know this isn't my best work by any stretch of the imagination, but 
I do uh, happily challenge you to try something like this sometimes. Sometimes the harder the challenge, the more fun it is when you figure out how to do it. <clears throat> so, even if it's not perfect, pretty good is usually okay. I am a lot of times a fan of the, the Pretty Good theory. There we go. So, I am going to have to stop there today. But now we finally have some details. And some glasses on them that look a little bit different. So now all we've got to do is come in and do their skin. So I'm going to stop there for today, and I will talk to you guys next time.